Hi everyone, my name is Arvin Olano and welcome to my YouTube channel. So, nobody asked, but in today's video, we are talking about things that you need to stop doing in your living room. We are about to have a good laugh and a ton of fun, so buckle up. I always like to start these videos by saying that everything that I'm sharing today are just my personal opinions. You don't have to listen to me, okay? You are an adult. You can make your own decisions. <laughs> oh, and Billie Jean, Sally Sue, if you think you are going to go down in the comments and write me a nasty comment and think you're gonna offend me, well, you thought wrong. <laughs> So the first thing that you need to stop doing in your living room and ooh, stop buying designer dupe blankets. Okay, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Miss Glam Girl and Miss Farmhouse Influencer Girls are always sharing it on social media. <laughs> It's the Hermes blanket dupe from Amazon. And can I just say, I am not one to shy away from a logo. It's not even like, it's not even like an aesthetic. It's not even like a cool thing to have. You're literally putting an H logo blanket on your sofa. Bitch, your name better be Holly or Happy or Hooty Hooty Who, okay? To be having a blanket <laughs> with an... <laughs> to be having a blanket. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. No, stop buying these designer dupe blankets. I know you've been thinking about this blanket. Take it out of your cart, okay? And instead of buying these stupid logo blankets, just go for something that is like really nice and soft and textural. I do have a ton of favorites on my Amazon storefront that have like the beautiful fringe detail. The next thing that you need to stop doing in your living room is decorating with two colors. And two colors only. I mean, let's take a look at this living room, okay? There is a cream rug, there's some cream pillows, and then you have a random blue velvet sofa in the middle. To me, this just feels disjointed, it feels a little lackluster, and I feel like you were just convinced that you needed a pop of color, which by the way, I hate that phrase, okay? I don't want a pop of color. No, I don't want that. I want a blend, a beautiful commixture of colors. Now, I want you to look at this living room. It's a little too colorful for me, it's not my style, but you can see the use of color and the blend of different tones. Get a variety of tones, not just the one, two. <laughs> the next thing that you need to stop doing in your living room is making it look like a jungle. Now, Miss Green Thumb, you are not about to film the next Tarzan movie in your living room. There is no reason to have 50 plants in your living room. There's just not, and I get it, okay? We were in lockdown, you were bored. Girl, I get it, okay? I've been there. I had a jungle here in my office at one point. It got so overwhelming. I had gnats. And it was just not cute, you guys. Let's keep it in moderation, okay, Miss Poison Ivy? Let's calm it down. Oh my gosh, all the plant YouTubers are quaking after I said that. <laughs> The next thing you need to stop doing in your living room is buying a slip cover for your old sofas. I can't even believe I am talking about this, but I have seen it on Pinterest. You have this really old, maybe like a hand-me-down sofa. You hate it, you don't like it. And you think, oh, let me go onto Amazon or on Google and search slip cover sofa. Listen. The problem with these slipcover sofas that you find on Amazon is it's not a one size fits all. You know what's gonna happen? You're going to put that slipcover and then you sit on it and all of the fabric is gonna pull. It's gonna like look all nasty and dingy and just, it's not gonna look good, okay? The next thing that you need to stop doing in your living room is adding a shelf on top of your sofa. I don't know why this is a thing, but when you add 
a floating shelf of some kind above your sofa. I feel like that's just dangerous. <laughs> Can you imagine if you're sitting, you have your shelf there, and all of a sudden a vessel falls on your head and just <laughs> Instead of doing that, you guys, if you wanna hang art, you wanna hang decorative accessories above your sofa, go the traditional route, do your photos, do your art pieces. But what I like to do is I like to use command strips and I will mount interesting decorative pieces above my sofa. Exhibit A and exhibit B. I will link my favorite command strips that are so strong that I can literally hold up a sculpture on my wall. Get creative. If you hang something on your wall that's like cool and, and different, tag me on Instagram. I wanna see. Oh my gosh, wait, I haven't talked to you about my um, essential oil today. So today for my little aromatherapy session, I have my trusty Vitruvi diffuser, which I have a code, it's Arvin. I will link it down for you. You'll save 20% off. Oh. Mm. I am diffusing an essential oil called the hotel. And it's actually inspired by the Delano Hotel here in Vegas, which I think is so strange and funny and weird, but it actually smells so good. I got it from Amazon. I'm all about the oils. I just love a good aromatherapy moment, okay? The next thing you need to stop doing in your living room is buying brown sofas. I love brown. I love accents of brown. I love little brown furniture pieces, brown tables. The color brown itself is beautiful but something about those deep, dark brown sofas that just is a dead giveaway of a dated living room. Mm, it just feels very sad. And if you want to get a sofa that's on the darker color because you're worried about your kids, you're worried about your pets, I recommend going for a sofa that's maybe more like a dark gray or maybe a dark like cognac instead of like a deep, Dark brown. The dark brown just to me looks mm -hmm. like poopy brown. <laughs> okay, it looks like poop. And you know what? If you are looking for an affordable sofa, I was doing research for another video and I found out that Amazon sofas are apparently popping. I couldn't find any that were not sold out. So I will link some of my favorites down below that are still available. The next thing that you need to stop doing in your living room. And this might be a little controversial, you need to stop it with all the family photos. <laughs> and I get it. You love your family. I love my family as well. And you wanna have your memories displayed in your living room, which is fine. It's totally fine. But when every single corner is like a gallery wall, I think it can get a little overwhelming and it can feel a little cheap sometimes. Now, this is just my opinion, my preference, okay? But if you wanna have like a family photo moment, do a gallery wall, okay? Do a gallery wall, make it a focal point in one wall of your living room. Make it a wall that's like next to the sofa or maybe a little corner moment you do a gallery wall and it's just gonna feel a little more elegant. It's gonna feel a little bit more designed. The next thing that you need to stop doing in your living room is buying too many pillows. Billie Jean, Sally Sue, you need to calm down with all the pillows. Like when I see something like this, where am I supposed to sit? So instead of having your pillows kind of leaning back straight up like this, you wanna put them at an angle, right? So like this, see how it's like, ooh, 45 degree. And you're gonna do the same with this little guy. It's gonna be 45 degrees and you can even have a third lumbar pillow right here. When you're sitting at the edge of the sofa, you wanna be, <laughs> the next thing you need to stop doing in your living room is having your light fixtures all in the same level. Now this effect is like a weird, it kind of feels 
eerie and it feels like you're in like a hospital when all the lights are in the exact same height level. You don't want your living room to feel like a hospital. You wanna have this like mood lighting, right? Now, the trick is to have your lights at different height levels. If you look at this photo, the lights are really kind of guiding your eyes around the room and it creates this beautiful glow. I have a ton of affordable lamp recommendations and sconces, by the way, beautiful sconces. I'll link them down below for you. All right, everyone, that was it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, sound off in the comments down below. And if you're brand new, don't go yet. Go ahead and watch my Stop Doing This in Your Bedroom video because Stop Doing This is a whole series here on my channel. We just love to have fun. We love to laugh. We look at interior design in an approachable level. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you go and I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone.